the journey of a thousand months. This is Kitty, an avid book reader, whose love for books and reading is unlimited. Today, I'm going to review American as Fun Air Part, written by Sophia Kalkar. I have also reviewed the other book, Ahimsa, from the same author. If you didn't see her already, don't forget to check her out. Before the review, I wanted to tell you all an interesting story of how I earned this book. My uncle is so brilliant at both physical and mind games. Especially at chess, it is very difficult to beat him. I have played chess against him and lost many times. One day, we got into an agreement that when I win a game against him for the first time, he would buy me a book. This fact made him more exciting and I started looking for all possible ways to improve my game. I played against the computer several times and guess what? One fine day, I won the game against him and he got this book from me, Kindle ebooks. And this is the story of how I earned this book. If you like our video and book reviews, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Okay, this is unusual, but let me do this. I'm dedicating this book review to all my friends in America. And the reason for that is to encourage all of them to read this book. Watch till the end to know why. Leka is the only Indian American girl living in Oak Ridge, Michigan. She has two versions of her, Home Leka and School Leka. Home Leka is a happy, funny girl who enjoys eating Indian food and watching Bollywood songs and movies. She has very supportive parents and her one and only best friend, Noah, who is also her next door neighbor. But at school, things are a little hard for her. School Leka is teased for her bindi birthmark, what she eats, and how she smells. So Leka attempts her best to cover up the difference and tries to fit in and feel included. Instead of confronting, Leka chooses to ignore the racist remarks. Now was in a new neighbor, Avantika, who was a girl of the same age as Leka and came right from India. Though Leka and Avantika are common in many ways, they are yet different. Though Leka finds comfort in finding someone who shares common interests, she feels exposed in school as Avantika is proud of her culture and displays a brilliant way. Also, Avantika never shies away from digging down and speaking up to bullies who make racist remarks. This complicates her relationship with Avantika. Will Leka re-evaluate her relationship? Meanwhile, there is a racist incident occurring in the town and a candidate against immigrants gets elected. If you know this, how will Leka react? Will she find her voice? To find that out, you need to be American as Funny Five, written by Sophia Kalkar. Now, having read both of Sophia Kalkar's young adult fiction, this book and an himsa, there's something common in both of the books. It is how the author does the character development of the protagonist. With Anjali and Ahimsa, or Leika and American Espanye Pai, both of them are not this perfect when the story starts. They gradually evolve, undergo transformation, and get empowered to make brave choices. I would say the book comes with two important messages. Respect the differences. This one is for the bullies, who discriminate people based on color, race, or any other factors. The next message is for everyone. Stand up for what is right. The message that the book brings along makes it a strong reason for why kids should read this book. The storyline and the message is the reason why I would recommend this book for all my friends who live in a multicultural and a diverse environment. Hope you all like this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Leaving you all with a wonderful quote from Rosa Parks. You must never be fearful about what you are doing when it is right. Thanks for watching. Bye!